Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. It is a few minutes after seven and time for another installment of seven minutes in the morning. Today, we're going to talk about knowing when to give up. Stay tuned. This is seven minutes in the morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Mm, yeah, that's good. Cup of coffee. Grab a cup of coffee as we sit here for the next, uh, oh no, 7 to 10 minutes or so. My name is Tom. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, the show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. Let me make sure that this is working here pretty well. There we go. Uh, hey, listen, when you get here, do me a favor. Leave a uh, comment, uh, just like Catherine has done, and say hi, hello, good morning, whatever floats your boat. And if and only if you get any value from our time together today, I would appreciate it tremendously. If you'd leave the old heart stars, thumbs up, likes, whatever's appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening, because you can watch or listen this to this podcast every day, most days, um, just about anywhere. Facebook, let's see, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, you can get the video on the website and go to TomRigsby.com slash live. That'll show you my latest live, no matter where it's published. Uh, and then, of course, everywhere you get your audio podcast, um, iTunes, Stitcher, Streaker, Spreaker, Spreaker, uh, tune in all of those. I was looking through my stats the other day. I, I even had links from places. I didn't know the show was showing up. So, uh, really just about anywhere you want to watch or listen, you can join us each day. That's a good way to start the day. And the whole idea is just to give you a few minutes of something mm, good to help get the day started off on the right foot. And with that, I'm going to talk about when to give up. <laughs> we, we all have um, had this experience where we've put a lot of work, we've put a lot of effort, time, maybe a lot of money into make, <coughs> making something <coughs> excuse me, making something a reality and it's just not working. And so then you have to look at this thing that you're working on. It's like, man, how long am I going to keep doing this? And this is a, it's a really hard question for a lot of people because uh, among other things, maybe, maybe greater than everything else, there's this idea that you failed and to say, and this, look, I mean, ton, I hear this a lot with business owners. I can't, it has to work. I can't fail. I don't want to let anybody, I don't want to let my family down. Don't want to let my friends down. Don't want to let my investors or my employees down. And you're working really, really hard. Uh, kind of the vision that comes to mind is, you know, you're, you're, uh, dumping buckets of water out of the lifeboat and you know, his leaks are springing and you're just, you're bailing and it just, it's just a lot of work. So when is, when have you done this? When have you tried long enough to justify giving up? Oh, I'm sorry. You can't answer me. Let me answer that question for you. <sighs> it's a lawyer. I mean, this is an answer only my lawyer friends will really appreciate, but it depends, right? If you have set off on this journey with the right set of expectations, then, then it's probably never the right time to give up. If you have an, uh, an unreasonable set of expectations, might be the right time. The, the reality is that only you can tell whether it's the right time. I can give you guidance. I can give you suggestions. I can help. I can help describe the reality, 
right? And, and I, I do this frequently. I'll get business owners who are really struggling that'll call me and contact me and, and give me their whole story. And when I start asking them, well, why did you start the business anyway? What is the trajectory that you're on? Is it possible, you know, given the current circumstances, given the, the, the market, the competition, whatever, is the trajectory you're on ever going to deliver that? Because sometimes they're just unrealistic, right? I want to sell millions of these and we'll be bajillionaires. No, you're not. That That's not going to happen. We can create a comfortable life for you. But, you know, and this was something I told the kids when they were growing up. Anybody can do anything for a little while. This is one of the things that got me through the army. <laughs> Anybody can do anything for a little while, right? And you just have to define little while. And, and this is where a lot of business owners, leaders get stuck. We start the business and we, we accept the challenge that we have to work really hard, long hours, maybe, you know, seven, eight days a week, something like that for a while. And then they get into that rhythm and they do that and the business grows and then kind of plateaus and then it never grows beyond that. And then they just get tired. I can't keep working six, seven, eight days a week. I need a break. About a nickel for every time. All right. So that's what's presented. The reality is, right? Maybe you're working really hard, digging a ditch with a tablespoon. Instead, let me show you how to use this, this backhoe over here. You know, a lot of people look at their current set of circumstances and say, this is what is necessary. This is what it's going to be forever. This is what I have to do if I'm going to, you know, win in the Olympics, win in business, win and get the promotion, whatever, right? The reality is, and this is where having a good mentor, advisor, or coach comes into play. We can tell you what reality really is because you'll let your, your personal experience and, and current circumstances cloud your view of what you think reality is and having somebody else who can look at your, your circumstance and say, no, nah, that's, that's not really true. Look, here's what you need to do. And we get, we, we allow ourselves to slip into this pattern and then say, okay, well, I'm, I'm just, this is the way I've got to work. And there are plenty of people, plenty of people standing around saying, Hey, I can help. Take five minutes and let me show you how to do this. No, no, no. I'm too busy working. I can't take the time to do that. And they burn out. So the reality, and this is one of the reasons why when I sit down with a client, one of the first questions I ask is, what do you want this business to do for you personally? Because if you're not really clear on that, then none of the other decisions even matter. And I'm not really sure how you make the other decisions. Well, we can get a textbook that says, if you're making this much and spending this much, then you should do that and do this. Okay, great. But what's that doing for me? Right? If it's not going to get me where I want to go, if it's not going to deliver on the promise that I sold myself and, and my important relationships when I said I'm going to start this business, then is it, is it worth it? And that's where this comes down to a, a personal decision. Now, does that mean you're a failure if you quit? I don't know. I say it all the time. You know, you only fail if you quit, right? There are circumstances where, uh, what is it? Discretion is the, is the, the better part of valor. Knowing when to engage and knowing when to live to fight another day. You know, I've had businesses that failed, had two. Now I've learned I, from that, I've learned what not to do next time. And I didn't do it this time. And we're, things are working much better this time, right? So don't, don't think that, you know, sometimes we set this up to be way more important than it really is. Yeah, sure. 
You got to pay attention. You got to work hard. You got to do the work that's necessary to win. But at the end of the day, you know, whether your business succeeds or fails, that pales in comparison to whether you're, you maintain and grow those important relationships and, and have a happy, healthy, balanced life. Right? So find if, if you're struggling, if you came across this video, somebody sent a link to you, you're struggling. You're not really sure what to do next. This is a great time to reach out to someone who can objectively say, here's what your current circumstances are. Here's where this trajectory is going to lead you. If you continue down this path and here are some options that you can consider to change that trajectory, right? You can call them a coach you can call them an advisor. You can call them, you know, butterflies and unicorns for all I care. Find somebody who can do that. If you'd like to talk to me about that, I would be happy to do that. Easiest way to set that up is just go to the website, tomrigsby.com. Click on the coaching link at the top or just tomrigsby.com slash coaching. I'll do it. Happy to do it. All right. Tons of comments here. Working hard and staying busy doesn't mean you're accomplishing what you want. That is correct, Catherine. Stop bailing with a spoon and fix the leak. Yeah. Sometimes you just need to put the bucket down, fix the hole, and then get back to bailing. Right? I, I, I use this analogy a lot, but it's a hamster on the wheel, right? Hamster on the wheel is working really hard. It's just not going anywhere. But if you took the little guy out, put him down on the floor, now he's making some progress, right? Just because you're working hard doesn't mean you're winning. I want it to make me a bajillion dollars. Okay, good. There is a difference between quitting and pivoting. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. And uh, this is something I, I, while I agree with that, I want to point this out. This is something we've experienced twice now in my working career through the dot-com bust and the real estate bust. There were tons of people getting into dot-com based businesses before that bubble burst. There were, you, you could go online and take a 30 minute course and become a, mo a mortgage seller d during the housing bubble. Right. I mean, now if you did that and then the bubble burst, does that mean you got to doggedly stick to that or pivot? I, you know, maybe that, maybe that play, maybe that, that mind just played out that happens. You know, maybe what you thought the market would be interested in, you were mistaken or you didn't do the research or you got false signals. All of that happens, right? Pivot. Yeah, sure. Pivot to me means I'm staying in the same general concept. I'm just pivoting delivery or something. You might have to change lanes, right? If you do, okay, that's fine. Uh, sometimes the path you're on will not get you where you want to go. That is true. And you'll have to change paths. And sometimes it, it's really difficult. You get put into some really difficult circumstances because the, the your partner, your family, your significant other, your friends, they don't want to join you on another path. And so you're trying to go down this path and, and, and maintain, you know, this fingertip touch relationship out here. At some point you just have to decide. And that's where it gets really tough. And having the ability to have that third party objectively assess and help point you in the right direction can really come in handy. So again, if that's something you would like for me to help with, or just talk to me about what that would look like. Just set up an appointment, tomrigsby.com slash coaching. That'll get you the right place. There's a form at the bottom. You can reserve a time and we'll talk. Happy to do it. All right. That's it for today. Way over on time, but hope that that was helpful. Listen, you know somebody right now who's struggling with this, be they a business owner. Maybe they have a set of circumstances or an opportunity. They're really unclear about whether they should pursue or not, or maybe they've committed to one and it's just not working out the way they thought, send them a link to this. Click on the share button underneath the video or audio that you're watching or listening. Send it to that person. 
they'll appreciate you. I will too. And don't forget, if you got any value from our time together today, I would appreciate the old heart stars, thumbs up, likes, whatever works. However, you're watching or listening. All right, that's it for today. Have a safe and thankful Thursday. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.